Hi guys, I'm Marcus, uh, bar manager at Faro. Today we get to show you how to do cocktail, how we do it at Faro, but also actually most important part, how you can do it at home as well and enjoy as a high quality. We're going to do a dry martini. So we're going to start taking a tin. We like tins because they're metals. They're going to conduct better the temperature. We have vermouth in the fridge, I say, because we want so a really cold cocktail. So we have that dry vermouth with us. We use some little spoons. So we got to use 10 ml. You could also use like maybe like a two spoons of like a teaspoon. So what I have done yesterday, I put my gin in my freezer to get it the coldest as I can. So that gin is now on minus 16 degrees and going to help us to have a great martini. 50 milliliters of gin. So they're up to you what kind of gin you like. I'm personally quite like a London dry gin. Um, that one, a bit of citrus flavors inside. Go cut down like that and have a nice coin. So basically like we could do at home as well easily. You just pre-batch everything. So our gin is super cold. So we just want really to bring a bit of dilution into it. All right, about 30 times. Really cold glass, so I recommend at home put your glass where always in the freezer. Temperature is key for a cocktail, especially for martinis. And there we're just gonna try to get it straight into our tin. Lemon twist on the top, and that's it. Next, we're to do uh, Negroni actually. Now we're gonna show you a recipe to do it at home easier to enjoy with your friends. Right now, we're gonna do is like batch everything together. And after just putting in the fridge, it's going to be able like, to serve it straight for a bottle. 50 ml of gin. So that's going to be good for two portions. 50 ml of sweet vermouth. I'm going to go on 50 ml of bitter liquor. We're using Capano here, but Campari work as well. So it's equal part of each one. So there our cocktail is ready. Get it into a fridge and wait until you need to serve it. Also great for parties with your friends at home. Once you batch it, take a nice glass of ice and your liquid, everything is cool, come from the fridge. You gotta just pour over ice. Do a quick stir. Top up with ice to keep it nice and cold. So what we're looking always at is like to have enough ice to keep the cocktail cold. Uh, the more ice you have, the colder you're going to stay, the less going to dilute it, the better it's going to be your cocktail. It's all about temperature and dilution. Um, it's why you need ice. If it's more ice, the temperature is going to stay longer down and you have got to enjoy a long, better cocktail. A balanced cocktail needs always a bit of dilution to it, so you cannot have dilution without having coldness, but no coldness without dilution. So the right ratio to achieve is going to be the most important part of it. It's, it's why I'm saying if you batch it at home, you're going to put it in the fridge, you're going to have a great temperature, the quality is going to be more constant, it's going to make your life easier. You're going to just take a nice orange, a nice, nice thick one, so you're able to eat as well. You're going to stick into our glass, and that's our Negroni. Let's show you how to do an old fashioned Faro style, but also hard to do it at home. Um, so what is old-fashioned? Old-fashioned is actually one of the first cocktails was known as a cocktail. Uh, so it was spirits, so whiskey, come America, bourbon. What we got to start with, got to start to put some sugar into it. What we're doing here, two parts sugar to one part water. So it's quite rich. We got to use our five milliliter spoon. As I say, like you could also use a teaspoon at home for it. Those kind of like measuring spoons, they're always available everywhere. Um, so really great tools to have. I would definitely recommend you to have a Giga 50 ml and a 25 is great as well. They're quite cheap to pick up. You can order online on Amazon. Uh, it's great to have. Definitely recommend you have like a Boston shaker set or like two tin sets. So it's great, you can shake cocktails. You can use it as I do right now to stir cocktails as well. Um, because it's metal, uh, it's going to conduct temperature better and keep it more stable. 
here we're going to use bourbon whiskey from Kentucky. Uh, we're going to use 50 ml of that. I recommend to use bourbon because it's a classic way. As I say, you can be a bit fancy at home and work with your whiskey as you prefer. Bitters, Angostura bitters, we have those in the bottle, but you can buy it online. Uh, it's called Angostura bitters. You're going to add five dashi. Dashi is counted as a drop, so one, two, three, four, five. This is how we count it. Old fashioned. It's a cocktail we need a certain dilution because it's a strong cocktail on spirits only. If you have a party with friends, I really recommend you to batch everything together in bigger quantity. You take the same recipe, you make it stick that in your freezer, even better. Fridge will be okay as well. And you just save it straight on ice. Cool it down a bit more, we're gonna serve a few more times. So when you stir a cocktail, what are happening there? You're making the ice melt this ice conjugate energy your spirits has a lower freezing point than water so what's happening there is like your spirit will be able to go under under minus degrees so you bring some water into it but at the same time you bring some coldness will be able like to reduce the temperature of your own liquid strain that cocktail into our wax glass to garnish that old-fashioned with uh, orange coins, just cut it down nicely and you have a nice coin around. Wherever you have your coin, you take it into your fingers and you want to press out the oil. On the cocktail, it's gonna bring some aromatic. You take it like that and after you put it back into your drink. That's a classic old fashioned. Espresso martini, Philo style. Espresso martini is uh, really a unique drink from London. It's brilliant, it's delicious. It's vodka, it's coffee, uh, a bit of sugar, and a coffee liqueur. So we're using a brown sugar, it's called panela. I would definitely recommend you to like, take one part of water, two parts of your brown sugar, heat it in a pan before you steam, mix it that the sugar is dissolved, and that's it, you have your homemade brown sugar. So next part, we're going to go for a coffee liqueur. We're using an Italian coffee liqueur, we're going to use here 5 ml of it. Add vodka, 45 ml. A great way to do it at home if you have a coffee machine is get a fresh espresso into your tea and shake it. So what we're doing here, we're using cold brew coffee. If you don't have a coffee machine at home, you didn't have a chance to buy some cold brew, nice quality cold brew, you could also use instant coffee. Um, obviously, espresso martini, the quality of the espresso martini has always been on your quality, based on the quality of your product, so your coffee got to be one of the biggest parts. Instant coffee works, maybe not the best flavors, but still got to great, make a great cocktail. We're using 50 ml. What you want to achieve when you shake a cocktail is bring some dilution air, and it's like gonna be fluffy up your espresso martini. So the harder you shake, the better gonna have your form. Put your glassware in the freezer if you want to have a better quality. So there we have a fine strainer, you could, if you don't have a strainer like that, take the two like that and just get the liquid out. And we're going to use a nutmeg, a full one, I'm going to just put it on the top of a drink. Et voila! Americano cocktail. First step, go take a sweet vermouth, go put 35 ml into it in your glass. Our pizza liqueur, 35 as well. Add ice to that glass. You're going to need some soda water. What we're going to do, we're going to top up. Give a quick stir. Go to top up with ice. A slice of orange, nice and thick, so you're able to eat as well if you like. Put it into the glass, nicely. And that's gonna be your Americano. So obviously, as you see, it's really simple, but that's Americano cocktail. Enjoy. Thank you for watching, guys, and please subscribe, follow.